Kids, this is Mr. Ford, and he is here to talk to you about ancient Sparta's government. Hi kids. My name is Eric Ford, and as you know, I am here to talk to you about ancient Sparta's government. Now, in Sparta's government, not everyone could receive a specific kind of education called a god, and judicial and executive powers help control a disciplined society. Excuse me Mr. Ford, but, what is a goge? Well Joey, a gog is a type of education that is mainly for people of a higher class. Well, the truth is that I do not know why they called it a gog. I guess they thought that it was the best name for education of a higher class. Now, let's get back to Sparta's info. The government that they used in Sparta was called monarchy. Sparta's government balanced political power between kings, and the two kings had roughly equal power. Sparta was not only ruled by one king but, it was ruled by two. Judicial and executive powers helped control a disciplined society and made decisions by what the majority thought. All citizens who were men of the age of seven served in the army. And all male citizens vote in the assembly. Sparta was also the only city-state that was ruled by a monarchy. All right kids but I'm afraid that is all that Mr. Ford has for us today. Say goodbye kids. Goodbye Mr. Ford. Goodbye Mr. Ford. Goodbye Mr. Ford. Thank you for having me kids. It has been a pleasure to talk and teach you about ancient Sparta's government. Keep learning kids and have a great weekend.